facts matter, but apparently not enough for your Aunt Judy, who still believes in Pizzagate. You likely know at least one person who seems to have gone totally insane since the last election. What the bleep is wrong with everyone? It's almost as if facts have lost their power. But then facts were never what changed our hearts and minds. That power always belonged to stories. In the old days, there were stories of heroes. A knight would go off to slay a dragon to prove his worth to his king. That story would be a bit different if the knight set out to slay the dragon, but was interrupted by a notification that his ex-girlfriend is in a relationship with his bestie. Oh, and by the way, the king is an inbred idiot who's unfit to rule. Also, dragons were made up to convince stupid people to go on quests anyhow. Smart people stay home and buy giant stuffed animals from Japan for exorbitant prices. Don't judge him. He googled body pillows for his sciatica. If you imagine your life as a story, then you should be the one controlling the narrative, right? What happens next should be up to you. But your choices are being manipulated. When you Google something, you see different results than someone who has different political views. Social media feeds you content that confirms your current views and biases so that you'll like it and become addicted to it. Every fifth post in your Facebook newsfeed is an ad designed to look like a friend's post, and I'll bet you never noticed there were that many. What's worse is that right now, a whole lot of those ads are political and seek to use data about you that they bought from Facebook to influence your vote. But the truth is that it's your choice. You're the hero, and it's your journey. Don't let an algorithm decide what you believe. Do the extra work to find out the true, objective facts and make your own decisions about them. In the end, it's not really the facts that matter, it's you that matter. This is your story, and you decide how the next chapter will go.